It's up for discussion. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Receive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. You know more of the herb than I do, it seems. Except for how it tastes, perhaps. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. It seems likely, which means he isn't working alone. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed, right in front of me, and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look... ...there's always hope. You are that hope. There is only one outcome that interests me. Killing Gatherick Thorn and ensuring that it sticks this time. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. 
I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. <laughs> 